Uh, Kyle, I'm like sunk too low in the chair to clap. Really good. You want me to you're exactly reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. Uh, a new untold story episode 464 is it not um i think it's like 456 you you know for a fact probably it's 456 uh, are you off the wagon gen 3 was a colossal failure gen 3 of the protocol was? i am brutally fucked up <laughs> like right now yeah <laughs> wait that's not a failure you're allowed to get fucked up no but i'm wasted I'm wasted and um, three, three fifty six. Is it three fifty six for sure? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, you're the ad guy today too. My phone's not receiving photos. I can do one. You got to do all three. Well, do we start now? Yeah, start it now. Uh, for those just tuning in, well, I guess it's the beginning of the podcast, so you are. <laughs> um, uh, we've been at the bowling alley all day. We were sipping there. Uh, now it's late in Chicago. It's all right. So we're talking about what's it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Was that just a general, yeah. a general affirmation? Yeah, I got <laughs> nervous about bowling. I made the quarterfinals and started to get wasted. It's all right. That was a bitter mistake. Gen 3 was a colossal failure. Gen 3 <laughs> couldn't have been worse. And I thought Gen 3 was my best product ever. I had so many people sign up for it. I had so many people believe in me. How much, I had were, so many people how much were you charging? Donate money to me. Donate money to my Venmo. And I accepted it so fucking confidently. And I feel so bad. Because you believed people. in the product? I believe Gen 3 was the starter pack for like... That was the third iteration of the starter pack. Gen 3, just because Gen 2 had so much flaws and well, what, what, what was... Okay, let's start with Gen 1. Gen 1 was me just trying to figure out dopamine, and I figured it out. I kind of hacked it to a point. <laughs> okay. And, now and then why... Okay, but why did you think it needed a Gen 2? Because Gen 1 was too much pain and misery. Mm -hmm. It didn't have enough of a reward. I thought Gen 3 was the play, and now I'm brutally wasted. <laughs> But we're t and I'm about to do this, so this is a good product. We're doing this, this Conrad. You've been on a lot of pods. You ever hear an ad read that good? Never in my life. Well done. So. I can tell by the tone of your voice, you mean it. Mm -hmm. Never in my life. Well done. There we go. You need to okay. start doing that. Uh, so your Gen Three was how? How long did Gen Three last? Gen Three was a couple weeks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're good. I saw a picture of myself at the bowling event and my arms looked ridiculous and it kind of <laughs> defeated the purpose. My arms look so big, but you're also wearing like very garish. Uh, right. Apparel. But no, I looked like the, That's pink I paisley. looked like the short pussy who got big arms by anyone can achieve that. And I just was disgusted. Not everyone can achieve short. <laughs> I sure as hell couldn't. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's not making me any funnier either. I'm back to boozing. Danny, you are infamous, notorious on this podcast for have having fucked hooked up. Uh, hooked up with ice spice. Made out with, yeah, you guys just exposed my love life with Isis. That's her real name. And That's her actual name. Her. Isis, yeah. Now you can see why she goes by Ice Spice. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. But um but the uh, funny is she a good a kisser? Rude. She doesn't really want me to get too much into it. Wait, are you guys, do you have like her number or anything? No, just a restraining order. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. She's a lot younger than you. <laughs> I yeah, started and the she was a lot younger before she was famous, like you guys said. Yeah, most have been. We're, we're obviously kidding about you having had hooked up with Ice Spice. It was so believable, famous though. Famous woman. It was believable in your defense, but... Have you seen all the kids that, like, emulate her dance? A lot of, like, young hockey players are doing the Ice Spice when they score a goal. With, where they cover their pussies? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she yeah. is so... They bend skaters. over and cover She's the pussy. Like worldwide. I've She's... seen skaters do it when they do an axle stall. Really? They, they go up cool. and cover the pussy? Yeah, they axle stall and then cover their pussy. Is that ice spice? I was skating move? yesterday. I did it over a 5-0. You I know. Did a 5-0 grind. You did a 5-0 grind? Yeah, big, big, gnarly big spin. Out. 
You can't do okay. a five zero nolly big spin. I never. Unless yeah, you I do can. switch, and then you go backside five zero nolly big. You have to go switch first into it. Of, that was you're implied. The fake no, you're the fake. I was, skating, I was skating with Billy Marks. With uh, he gave me his twin machine deck. Skated with it. Billy Marks. He married the girl from the bad season of Scrubs. Pretty crazy. Yeah, and I fucked Ice Spice. Damn. No, you hooked up. <laughs> I did this. This is the nicest thing I've ever done to anyone. I started the rumor that you have hooked up with Ice Spice before she was famous. Has this affected your current life at all? Uh, not too much positively, no. You had a girlfriend at the time and she was probably pissed, right? Yeah, she still she still doesn't know that if it's real or not. I, <laughs> I committed to the bit that hard. Well, yeah. you're racist, so... Yeah. I knew coming on this pod would be questionable. But no, a, a saleswoman here even asked me, she's like, hey, not to be weird, but I'm taking my clients to this festival. Wiz Khalifa is going to be there and uh, this other girl, uh, she's a rapper. Uh, sorry, not to be weird, but it's like the one you hooked up with. <laughs> And I said, you know, they're just kidding, right? She's like, oh, really? <laughs> because it's not like that. Like, it's a huge compliment to you. Like, you're a decent looking guy. Yeah. I and still believe it. I do too. Yeah. And she she just skyrocketed in fame ever since you started that rumor. That is true. Because when I started the rumor, she was just like a TikTok music trend. Mm -hmm. Now she is, I think she's Cardi B. Yes. Plus, she's a, a legitimate like, artist selling out arenas. She's like huge. She's like. She has um, the same affliction that Sydney Sweeney has facial. They both look like they have Down syndrome <laughs> and they both are very hot at the same time. So I, I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah. Is that a quandary for you or is it? Yeah, just no, I don't know. I think that's a come up for the traditional beauty standards and the people who oppose it like me. You oppose the traditional traditional beauty. I scene? think we we have gone past the Lauren Conrads and the, the right, belly button easy. piercings and the that, that, thin that waist <laughs> and the Miranda from Degrassi with the uh, like the showing uh, the showing. What is the female underwear? But, dude, the, oh. the thing, the f thong, the thong, the, sh the thong that <laughs> surpasses the. the yeah. But the thing is, the you're saying we lo left traditional beauty. The bodies are still the same. It's just a Down syndrome face. No, the asses are s demonstrably bigger. <laughs> the asses and thighs are so much bigger. Dude, now that Prez bought the stool back, we can say whatever we can the say fuck whatever we, we want. Yeah, we, we want. can say people with Down syndrome are hot. Yeah. Well, no, just people that look like they have it. Yeah, because that wouldn't be true. Would you rather look like you? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, now that Prez is back, yeah, we're, we're in a good position. We're, we're chilling. We're, we're fucking chilling, dude. <laughs> yes. uh, what have you been into lately? What have I been into? I've been trying to memorize a chart of dragons. Yeah, I've been memorizing, yeah. I have a new favorite dragon, I think. Fae dragon. It's like, it's from the Fae. It's like a... You could give me that. What, what world are these dragons from? Uh, some from ours, some from different dimensions. Some aren't real. I mean, is it like a cartoon? No, no, no. It's just like, a, uh, this. I have this types of dragon poster. Oh. I've been trying to memorize them. Standard. Why'd you lock it? Is that your background? <laughs> yeah, it's T-Rex. <laughs> it's not a dragon. What do you think? Okay, who's the red one? Hydra? No. Which one's the red one? Dragon. <laughs> um, Layup. Who has orange wings? Uh, Hydra? That's Kotal. <laughs> who is green, uh, built like a horizontal lizard with big biceps? All lizards are pretty much horizontal. That's, that's that is a basilisk. No, it's Drake. God damn it. Um, who's very horizontal swimming. Sea fins. orc. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, Snake-like blue and off brown snake-like. Yeah. Uh, tiny penis. Um, close. It's Asian dragon. Asian dragon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, green, big wings. Dragonette. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Green pretty. Like beautiful, like, like sleek, sexy, sexy green, a three head, spiky, um, no spiky wings, one head. What is it? Snake like tail. What is it? Amphipter. Okay. I, I, I'm still okay. working. So that's yeah. what I've been into. I've been into different types of dragons. Cause I've only been to, to like your traditional worms, wyverns, dragons. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to open up my mind. Yeah. What about you? I don't know. I'm wasted. Yeah. Fruity. <laughs> We went to your apartment yesterday. It so was, sick. It was super nice. It was almost <clears throat> un, unnerving. There was a, you, a weird thing about it. Like we went in and this is like 
this was beautiful. Like the, the, the windows were a view of like a panoramic it's Chicago city. Yeah, Facebook it makes me cover so photo. Yeah. Honestly, mm-hmm. it looks, uh, yeah, it looks like a poster looking out. On yeah. The wall. It makes me self um, It's a fuck den for sure. Mm. For yeah. sure. And the, even on the way in, there's like a, like a trash. There's a trash shoot on the way in. Which in. is like, would every girl he's bringing back, he's like, hold on, like, before you come to my place, give me your panties. We're throwing them down the trash chute. <laughs> give me just, the fucking panties. Tell me, like, what? 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 <laughs> what? Why? Yeah, no, keep your panties on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, are, the, the, are, are you me? The, pretend like I'm Rudy. Like, no. Like, <laughs> no. Why doesn't Rudy just be Rudy? <laughs> Rudy be Rudy in, in this context. Okay, who's the girl? And the girl uh, is like spice. someone who wants to put your. Well, no, pain. but if you're doing a hypothetical and assigning roles. You're just telling Rudy to be Rudy. I thought it would be funny if like the girl like, was like, yeah, we have to put the panties down the trash chute. And I'd be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> keep right, them. Nick, what? Nick, you're Rudy now. All right. Who's the girl? The girl is like, wants to keep her panties Jesus off. Christ, you can't assign <laughs> roles. <laughs> All right. Nick. Rudy can't play Rudy in this scenario. Okay, but who's playing the girl? I'm not a good actor Rudy, myself. Yeah, I, I guess the girl doesn't matter. She's not going to say Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> Doesn't, the, the, whoever's playing the girl, it doesn't matter because he's not going to be saying much. All right, so we're walking into her place. He's got her hand. He's like, "Before you, you go were on what place. floor, Rudy?" I'm not saying that. <laughs> Before you go into your place, give me your uh, throw your panties down the chute. You won't be needing them. Is that what, is that what you wanted? Yeah, that's. Let, I won't let, need the panties. Wait, now you're playing the girl. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's mad funny. If <laughs> A girl like Rudy has a handicap apartment. His peephole's really low. Yeah, yeah it's dick, like it's chair dick. height. Yeah, your, ca- height. Your, your your countertops are also right so you, low. I didn't think the countertops. Were go low. stand next yeah. to him when you go home. You're making Rudy. him self conscious about his countertops. They're up to now. my hernia scar, <laughs> which was just resewn. <laughs> <laughs> you got it redid. Why? Did. Why did your hernia scar open up? Because uh, I was I was doing I was lifting too hard, <laughs> just like I was. L- chest pressing dumbbells too hard i had to get a mammogram i so i still fi- i had a hernia i self it just went away yeah it usually does um is it true that you promised you'd take your girlfriend to build a bear but you didn't feel like going out this was and- yeah, this was in new york <laughs> yeah we fucking and what, I, what did you do we go puffed <laughs> you go puffed the bear <laughs> you go puffed the fucking bear puffed. to your apartment yes that's just buying a bear off amazon no, it was off GoPop. What was the, what was <laughs> no, the level was of feature. customization? Was it similar to the well, experience? It was supposed to be a date. <laughs> and it's the same. Yeah, it was, it was tough. You just, you just put it on the big screen? You were tired? Was yeah, she it was disappointed? as fuck. It was after we recorded like three shows in one day. And yeah, but you back. promised Bill yeah, Bear we she wanted to because we she's never gonna, gone. Yeah. And you go puff. You built like, did you realize it's like a drop down menu? And I just went, I just go puff the build a bear. <laughs> And she was like, y- you wet? <laughs> and I said, I fucking, I just ordered it on GoPro. Babe, I'm tireless. <laughs> she said, you wet? <laughs> and I said, I fucking, the the workshop is like 25 minutes in traffic, plus lines and crowds. <laughs> I just go puffed the Build-A-Bears we were going to get. And she was like, how did you do that? And I said, I fucking <laughs> go puffed to... <laughs> Chubby Cubbies and one <laughs> and one stitch from Disney. And, and she was like, How did you even do that? And I said, oh, I just ordered, I customized it just like you do a fucking piece of food from Chipotle or Bar Louie. And she's like, You that doesn't count as the date. But, but I think, yeah. It was did a, she keep the bear? We both got the bear. Was the she satisfied game. with the Which bear? One, who was Stitch for? Stitch from Disney. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because the little bears require <laughs> stitching. Yeah, so I didn't know if that was like a confusing, like caveat. But because um, we both wanted chubby cubbies, and <laughs> I threw in a third stitch from Disney. Because, <laughs> but who, who, which one of you ha- is owner? I ended up taking the chubby cubby and stitch from Disney, even though I don't even fuck with. You need to stop saying from Disney. Stitch we from, know yeah. stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Stitch from Disney's Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's not a bear. Yeah, we go puffed her. <laughs> you get any snacks? Any snacks? Snacks? Yeah, from GoPuff. 
Oh no, we go puff the bears. <laughs> Well, just def- yeah. But like when you go to build a bear, you get to make a wish when you put the heart in. I, I don't know like the process. Yeah, like I thought. I guess that was like the sentimental part of the date. But like, <laughs> go, but you can go puff b- bears. <laughs> you just can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and so, it's, are they all on your bed or something? I have the th- I have the two chubby cubbies <laughs> and the, the Stitch from Disney, <laughs> and we're good. From Lilo and Stitch. From Disney's Lilo and Stitch. Yes. <laughs> I have Stitch, yeah. <laughs> Does he 66. have any different clothes on or anything? No, it just it kind of fucking is just wet. <laughs> How much money was wet. three? Were three bears on? Coba? More money. That's what that was my argument. <laughs> this is this costs more than actually physically going to build a bear workshop. <laughs> like the tax, the delivery fee. Well, uh, what did your Go Puff delivery driver have to say when he just dropped off three teddy bears to a grown man? He just he. Knocked the door and ran. Yeah, <laughs> he took a picture of them at your front door. Yeah. Oh my god, do the second ad. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Factor. Is it factor? Shut up. All right. <laughs> it's in the zone. <laughs> it is factor. It's I'm just factor. trying to fill dead air, man. I know, <laughs> and that means a lot. Um, I feel like a lot of people like lose. T- they lost Literally. control of their diet, especially late summer. Yeah. Like they were either go- fasting too hard with like all the, like the sun and the sweat, or they were like doing like weird <laughs> fucked up things with their diet that they wouldn't <laughs> normally do because of the calories burned during the summer or with like the alcohol consumed with summer, like beach events. When fall rolls around, this is the time to get your diet under control. And that's just me saying that. And now we're going to get into the ad. Oh, okay. With the busy fall season just around the corner, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up. All right. So, Factor, oh, man. <laughs> this is the shit you want <laughs> for the great. fall, for the autumn, for football season. You're going to be locked in. You're going to be watching the television, but you're also Can you be- fast? Like, when... Do you combine that with fasting? Do not fast. That was the main takeaway from Gen 3. Like fasting plus rewards was awesome for two months. And then like the third month was hell. It was living hell. So Factor, <laughs> America's number one ready to eat meal kit can help you fuel up. All right. The, the meals are delicious. <laughs> I've tasted these. They, they're healthy. They're like 400 to 600 calories and they are filling. If you're too busy with end of summer goals to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well with factor, you can skip that extra. All right. Stop going to the grocery store, regardless (laughs) of like (laughs) price quality, because the grocery store is going to be living hell at, Best case scenario, (laughs) you're in a city, a major city, and you're going to go to the grocery store and you're going to get irritable. You're going to get frustrated with the clogged aisles. Like someone's going to have their like cart plus their body take up 90% of the aisle. And you're the even like them generously moving for you is going to make you so mad Unless you do like factor meals. So factors fresh, never frozen meals already in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then go back to crushing your goals. And if you need to boost. Promo, yeah, just do a promo. Okay. The promo code is KB50. Damn it. Imagine that. Coincidence. KB50 and you get 50% off. And I promise you factor meals, they, they're they delivered fast. You get them out of the box easily. You prepare them easily yeah. and they taste delicious for a very marginal amount of calories. Like you're, you're going to be good. You're going to be set. Factormeals.com. A lot of people ask me like, how do I get on gen three? You have to start bare bones. You have to start with a good diet like this. So I would imagine. What are your thoughts on nicotine? Nicotine is fine. Okay. And uh, Huberman said that himself. So. Must be good. true. Do. Unless be it's true. like, if it's too rewarding for you, you got to stop. But it's not for me. Factormeals.com. Um, Danny, mm-hmm. we're all moving to Chicago. Mm-hmm. You've lived here your entire life. Mm-hmm. Now, you did say you were going to take us to a bar yesterday and got lost. Mm-mm. Sent us way out of the way. You guys said I knew my way around Boys Town too well. Yeah, you did. It was, so you I you got, actually did. So you, I got lost to you, prove that I don't. But you got lost outside of Boys Town. No, we were also that's a really town. on the nose gay neighborhood name. Yeah, I don't think it's called it anymore. What's it, it called it now? Got canceled. I think it's just East Lakeview now. But all the rainbow signage is still up, and uh, 
we're disregarding the fact that Mook chose to go to a gay thrift shop. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that did happen. Out of the closet. Yeah, there was a line for HIV testing. You were flirting Seriously. with the girl in line. Chill. No. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> or was not. She was a clear lesbian, and you thought, yeah, this is a chance. I this thought is... I could flip her, yeah. yeah. Practicing for Lightfoot. She, uh, what made her... <laughs> you want to try to flip Lightfoot? I'm going to fucking... A flip wow, Lightfoot, Lightfoot sounds like a sick skateboard move. Yeah, it does. Yeah, she's not in an office anymore, right? No, she's not. What's she up to? You guys came at the wrong time. Uh, she's just living her life. You'll catch her at the park probably later tonight, drinking brown liquor. That's what she does. Brown liquor is her favorite activity. She she said that. <laughs> 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 Danny, but like you you are born and raised in Chicago, which mm. I would imagine that's pretty cool, especially for a white boy. Yeah. <laughs> it helped with the ice spice. To like, get my no, being like a too. like not even from the suburbs. You're not from Naperville. You're not from whatever, Waukegan or Elgin or I'm, I'm you're a, from the city of Chicago. Yeah, I'm about as far northwest as you can get though, but it's still Chicago. Right. But that's cool to me. And you just led us astray so quickly. So quickly. I wanted to show you guys the lake too. I really wanted to sell you guys on this place. What do you think of it so far? I'm excited. I'm really yeah, excited. We did like what we saw. I don't like your pranks. I don't know if it's hazing, uh, yeah. but I, I I liked what you did to Mook actually. Mook lost, Mook lost his charger and Danny didn't do anything to it. And he was just yelling hot or cold when Mook was walking <laughs> around. Yeah, no, Danny's, Danny's a terrorist. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a strong word. I convinced him that Fasoli stole it too. And so he, he tried taking Fasoli's charger and it led into an argument. Fasoli probably got so mad. On his, yeah, that was like Fasoli was, uh, yesterday was a national holiday for Fasoli. With the, with, with the, the bar news. stool, accusi- and, yeah. bar stool acquiring bar stool. <laughs> <I almost said laughs> Accusations. Accusations. Yeah. Acquisition, I was going to say. Mook. Yeah, with the Q. So uh, we were with Fasoli when Dave gave like a press conference over something that probably wasn't good. Sorry to hear that. It was the business insider. And he was like these. defending himself. He had that whole slideshow and Fasoli, we were in the airport and he was weeping. He was, like, he was, he was crying like physical, like three dimensional tears, which I know that's a tear, but like they were vis- <laughs> visibly three dimensional. With- yeah. Like, whoa, those are, <laughs> those are 3d tears. He was thinking of getting his tattoo removed. No, no, never. No, he was he like wasn't. C- crying tears of joy. Mm. Yeah. So there's that. Um, have, you, have you guys had an Italian beef yet? I can't have, uh, no, they I look, can't have bread. They look besides your stint with. So like I, I would like a, th- Three. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was beef. That was beef. Like a Philly cheese steak looks good because of the cheese, I think. But an Italian beef lacks the cheese that is so like important. For what, for what they lack in cheese, they gain in moisture. And just like wetness and like sure. celery. Well, much like Build-A-Bear, you can have modifications. You could add cheese onto it if you want. But that, is that not it? Like the what tradi- is the pure skit? The traditional Italian beef that everyone raves about is just bread and wet beef and, and celery and carrots. Hot peppers or sweet peppers. The au jus is what we call the juice. But it's not <laughs> actual au jus. It is. Okay. What is actual au jus? <laughs> Got him. He conceded real quick. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I guess he doesn't know. So we're moving here. What is something we can avoid that's cliche? I don't want to be like uh, somebody that's just like, oh, I moved to Chicago. I'm going to go like buy the Mike Dick Cabrera sweater. Um, I'd say I'm not going to do a Malort re- review. Mm-mm. I'd say probably taking pictures at the bean. I know none of you guys have probably taken a flick at the bean no. before though. Oh, you devil. Um, no, I'm actually going to do, I live close enough to the bean where I'm going to do, I'm going to do a like Clemmer style bean video, but every single day, like a Clemmer's like New York facts, yeah, but I'm just yeah. going to do it at the bean every day. Yeah, uh, make make sure to take um, the red line as often as, as you can. West Side's pretty nice too. You guys should probably visit there. Other than that, though, I would. Um, what are the touristy things like? Is it what? What's uh, the, uh, the aquarium? O block. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> aquarium. The Ferris wheel is up there. You got you. You are. Well, I don't know if you want me to give away your coordinates, but. You're living pretty close to a lot of uh, tourist attractions. Fuck yeah. Art museum. You can go pet the statue lions. Is that Navy Pier mm-hmm. you're talking about? Oh, man. Nick's close? Well, not just to Navy Pier, but other tourist attractions. I can't give away the latitude and longitude now. You don't know it. Um, I'm also close to Chinatown, though, and I'm very excited for that sexually. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm very, very excited for that. Like, uh, Whatever you're into. 
uh, uh, cuisine wise. Okay. Um, you guys have to pick a baseball team, Cubs or Sox? Sox. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, better colors, better hat. The Cubs have more fun in the bullpen, in the park. Like, their their team wants to be there more. They have more fun in the bullpen? <laughs> their bullpen, and they have, like, they're smiling in the bullpen, which is when I, like, try to, like, view different MLB teams. I look at the bullpen, and if they're happy in the bullpen, that means that's a good program. So you're a Cubs fan? I'm a Cubs fan. Damn, Rudy, what are you? I don't know. I mean, the fight really changed things for me. Mm. Guy in the socks got clocked. Tim Anderson? Yeah, Clean. but he seems cool, though. He seems like... No, he's hated, I think. Oh. He got punched. I know, but he seems like a, one of the cooler players. A lot city. of cool guys have been punched. Like who? Some of the coolest. Floyd Mayweather. Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> he is the coolest. I'm trying to think of one that doesn't have a harassment uh, charge. <laughs> um, the guy never backed down. He got punched. Mm. He's cool as hell. Is that Channing Tatum? No. It's the guy from Tokyo Drift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Don't know his name, but he's cool as hell. He got punched. Yeah, there we go. Matthew McConaughey, the guy from... I only know movie characters that have been punched. Who's been like knocked out and like is still cool? Dante. <laughs> Dante, Dante. Was, was, <laughs> I don't know if he qualified as a knockout. He was jumped. That was an attack. Yeah, he was yeah. jumped. Who he was, was like knocked who was out. knocked out in a one to one fist fight and is still cool? Which is like man's. It's man's worst fear. However you want to spin it, man's worst fear. We all act on a day to day basis. Um, under the guy, under like the potential of getting knocked out. That's how we all act because we know that's the worst thing to happen to us. Go off. Knocked out. I can't but think still of one. Cool. I can't think of a non-fictional character. Like who is? Who? Yeah, like, not Nate Robinson. And that's like when you in any social situation, Rihanna, like, you're R- worst. Rocky? You, <laughs> Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna. She like he like cool. slapped her to down though. Is I think it was, was close fist, was also, unless he's got uh, serious palms. She had, yeah, she had some marks on her face that were caused by more than a slap. Okay. I can't think. The, the only one I can think of, unfortunately, but she's cool. Yeah, she did a Super Bowl afterwards. Because as a man, like we, that's like our biggest, is that our biggest fear? No. No. I'm going to knock you out then just to fulfill your biggest fear. I think I think no. I think like squealing. Right, I think squealing for a spot is worse. A squealing for us. Oh, what does that mean like, like, oh, if like you're a, trapped a under a bench press. No, because at least you're benching. <laughs> no, dude, I dude. thought you meant for like a parking spot. <laughs> 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 squealing. A man shouldn't squeal. No, I squealed uh, yesterday. You noticed? I did notice. Yeah. Was, what did you squeal what, at? I was getting on the elevator and the doors were shutting. Yeah. And uh, there was a girl in there and she like hit the door open to like save me, but I went in. And I just went. <laughs> <laughs> and it was horrible. God. It was horrible, man. You're never having sex with that girl. Damn. I'm not. I'm not. She wasn't Asian. It doesn't matter. Is going to Mr. Beef cringy? Um, I guess now it's become a tourist thing because that's where the Bears filmed. Oh. This is the restaurant where the Bears it's based the Bears off filmed. Of, yeah. And it's currently an establishment that's running. Yeah, it's been one. They just filmed there. Have you been? I, I didn't say have. You're the worst lifetime Chicago resident mm-hmm. ever. Why? Because I don't go to tourist attractions. You should have gone at least once. What's right? like it's Chicago cool. about you? What's like super Chicago about you? You're not overweight. Not yet. Okay. Um, I, I just was able to grow a mustache like a year ago. Are you an alcoholic? Uh, getting there. Okay. Mm. You're on your way. What else? Uh, my constantly a big thing here is like you, you talk about parking beforehand. Like we, you got to go to this spot, and one of the big perks is like free parking. That's a yeah. big thing. Easy parking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that will always get mentioned. Um, your father being blue collar, mine's not. Man, I sound like that's a vote of pride. Like my father is a firefighter. My father is a welder. How close was your dad to blue collar? Like, were you pretty white? Yeah, I'm pretty white, but no, he's, he's, he works with taxes. Mm. Um, yeah, I know. I got to get my street cred up around here. Um, yeah, those are all the Chicago things about me. I sound like I'm from Wheeling, Illinois, Illinois, which is a mm-hmm. suburb. Uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to have to do it. What came first? To... Wheeling, Illinois or Wheeling, West Virginia? Wheeling, West Virginia, Wheeling, West Virginia. Is Wheeling. historically huge. Wheeling, Illinois is named after Wheeling, West Virginia. Uh, did yeah. you look that up? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Oh, um, my guy's going to do a, uh, a sea dog boat tour. What's a sea dog boat tour? Oh, no. you're going to learn today. The architecture tour on the river. I've done I'm, that before. 
You've done this review. It's dope. Yeah. On, uh, I was on an accounting trip in Chicago. And we that, did that is that dope. sounds dope. Mook, while you're on the mic, I'd like to redact your L. Oh, the Mo? Yeah. Thank you. W. For that officially. I w. That. Officially on the record, L redacted. We're at, so we're at a spot where you, um, so last we heard, you Do were. Do you know about this? Ask. <laughs> Please uh, reiterate. Uh, Mook was sleeping with a girl, and he found out that she's gone on from him to Mo Bamba, mm, seven yeah, foot two, yeah. But also before like him, like picture seven Bamba. foot two with arms like my size. Okay, she's got a type, <laughs> so huge. And then he, she fucked him before and after Mook, which is like we thought like that's an L. Like I was the rebound because like NBA players fuck whatever, but then like. Your people like spammed his Instagram comments. Our people, the BRGs. Your right. People. And then Mo Bamba was like into it. He was like, we got like, can I hop on the pod? Mo Bamba commented on the Instagram and then slid in my DMs and said, what is this joke? Would love to come on the pod. Wow. Right. Talking about this. Talking about this. So that meant that he didn't know what people were saying. Like what the chatter was about. The chatter was just like, they were just saying your name in his Instagram comments. And tagging him on the anus. So he had yeah. no idea. He did, like, there was no context. No context. He doesn't know that like when they were having sex, it was black and white, but she'd prefer to be red all over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I can't believe she never mentioned him to you or you to him. Anyway. So you were talking to us in the group chat because he DM'd you. He initiated the DM. So, Mo, and what did he say? Mo Bamba reached out to me and said, LOL, what is this joke? Would love to know and come on the pod in the future. And how did you react to that? How the, do you respond to that? Inside. I would not respond with the truth. But what did you, when he, when he said that, what did you do internally? So internally, my squeal. stomach flipped. Yeah, I squealed. My stomach squealed. I think I let out a squeal on the path back to New Jersey. And I went, right. Moe's going to be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> and you were, t you were texting us like, what do I respond? That's yeah. And guys, I'm freaking out right well, now. That was a pretty yeah. good move. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> and so I went to a bar in Jersey city. Then what happened? Ordered a JMO shot and a Guinness. Okay. Took the JMO shot, sipped the Guinness and started typing back like an hour later because I was freaking out. Yeah. And what did you say verbatim? I said, Mo. All oh. Oh. <laughs> Huge You're fan Creeping here. back to L. Huge fan here. I'm born and raised in Philly, but now live in New York. <laughs> we talked about me and you being Eskimo bros on our podcast, and now our fan base is wild and out. Sorry oh. for all the comments. Oh, you yeah. code switched. Why you did too much? Sorry yeah. about the fan base is wild and out. Sorry so, for man, all this the comments where we on your page. You're the man. I've been a fan for a while. You already said that yeah. at the beginning of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mook. Who do you think sucks his dick harder, that girl or you? Yeah, dude. dude. No. So, did you so, have you well, sent anything else to him? So I sent that message. That's that's like to you. Do you understand what you did wrong? <laughs> Wait, can we start from the top? Of course, he's not going to want to hear that he's like Eskimo Bros with a guy who respects him that much <laughs> if you know what i mean how would you have responded kyle i would have been like yeah it's it's double x uh what's good yeah what? i said yeah we hit double x <laughs> what's good that's what you would have said i said yeah we doubled down what's good because <laughs> he already wants to come on our pod and you just like you you like sprayed him away i mean i don't think I sprayed him away. How? Because you sounded like a make a wish. Like, oh, dude, I love, <laughs> dude, big fan. And then did I say big fan? And by the way, we fucked the same girl. <laughs> you'd be, you'd, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm so, uh, <laughs> Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't want to just be like, yeah, me and you, Mo, me and Mo hit. Like, I, I didn't. He know. would have respected that because he already respects you because you have like, you have hitters and you have a podcast. Yeah. Anyway, I sent that but message. He, hitters and a podcast. He, he respects you. What more you need? He left hey, Mo, big fan. But yeah, we're Eskimo Bros. Big fan. <sighs> Eiffel Tower? Question mark. That's, I don't know if logistically that's possible. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You put your mind It'd to be it. like a leaning tower of pizza. I just think, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could do it. That would be like the straightest way you could have a devil's threesome because he'd probably be in another room. <laughs> be on a different floor. Yeah. <laughs> Mook's filming. But he left that on scene for 30 minutes. <laughs> and how was that 30 minutes? Were you at the bar? Uh, freaking out. <laughs> Couple more JMO shots later, he responded, "All good." Period. Oh, all good. Period. period. All right. And did you send anything back? Nope. 
So that's it? That's it. <sighs> okay, well, I mean... Can he salvage this Best Kyle? case scenario, Is it he L has now? a... No, maybe he has a current girl and just doesn't want that, like, gaining, like, traction publicly. Yeah. Worst case scenario, he thought that was, like, very lame. Yeah, that is the... He's not going to beat you no, up. No, it's fine. No, I, you can... You can understand why it I would be funny if he beat right. But what what um, sparked his interest in the first place was it a bunch of comments? Yes. All right, so like, let's keep that going. Chill. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> what are you afraid no. of, Mo Bamba? No, the girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and the girl in question. Yeah, she. So the last time we were on the pod, you sent her a text that said, "Be real." Size difference? Question mark. Yeah, and she skipped that. And went went straight into you got to stop talking about Mo Bamba. Oh, yeah, should have told us that. Yeah, fifteen minutes ago. Mm -hmm. No, I think I think it's fine. But she gave you the blessing prior, right? Yeah, she gave him it after. Yeah, and but well before as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like a so you said Mo uh, to start it off. Yeah, yeah. was it? Oh, yeah, was it Moo? Did you like, actually come yeah. off saying Moo? It was like six O. Yes. Oh, it's that's Moo. Moo. Yeah. Explanation. Explanation. You started off. Yeah, you started with Moo, dude. You mooed at him. <laughs> you, dude, you were like a heifer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moo. Um, yeah, that's what he said to him. <laughs> How many O's? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh yeah. long Moo. I'm a big yeah. Mo guy. I love the song. He's a sixer. I was excited. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I, I don't want to be too crass when asking about you and this girl, but I have questions. We'll save for after the pod. Okay. Did I've, you have her moaning <laughs> or mooing? Because that would be big. That would be did. big. For yeah. You, dude. Before we move forward, we before have to we move forward, did you have her screaming? Like vocal, She's squealing, biting her lip. Mm. Did you have her arms behind her back? <laughs> Were you looking at yourself in the mirror? I did love you. you. I love you. <laughs> did you force a cramp? I got no comment on this. Uh, save for therapy. Yep. <laughs> but her one rule was you could talk about it on the podcast, but you can do it during stand up. I can't. So she either that. thinks you're a huge stand up or we're a failing pod. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but she gave you the blessing to talk about this on this podcast. Just not stand up. Just not. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's, a, gotta draw what's that? Somewhere. I don't know. What about in like improv shows anywhere else? What if you're doing like a green screen video? <laughs> you should do a, a Jack Mac green screen on Mo Bamba. Yeah. Um, yeah. But your uh, you have a tactic. <laughs> oh, Mook hit us with this first date tactic. Oh, it's a great tactic. I think it's pretty good. I disagree. It's, it's I was polarizing. I was ve I initially I was vehemently against. I think it. it's yeah. the type of guy that it, the, it's it's the old Jeffrey Dahmer. He's it's the not same the move. old Jeffrey <laughs> Dahmer. The new one. The old whatever. Jeffrey Dahmer's murder. Yeah. This yeah. is just what what do you do, Mook? So if you have a good rapport with a girl that you maybe loosely know or have matched with on Hinge, and you're texting her and have a good rapport before your first date. The day of, you text her and say, hey, if you want to pregame this date at my apartment, take a couple shots before we go to dinner, before we go to the show, before we go to the bar, come over. We'll have some shots. It'll be fun. Yeah, that it's like a lot of. I don't think you should be seeing the place in the first time meeting her. So, well, you keep her in the. the I think that area. breaks the ice. It's fun. I it's get casual. I would much rather have that. It just it could be predatory. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I don't like, hey, I, come I, to I my think it's place. all contact. Like if you're having fun texting, it's like, yeah, I'm nervous for tonight. Do you want to come over and pregame it? Because everyone should go to the first date drunk already or buzzed hard. You're both doing it without that happening. Everyone's taking a shot. But you know, hard. yeah. She thinks she's going to end up in your crawl space probably though. As long as she's comfortable. Rudy, what do you think? I was going to say my, to answer your earlier question, my greatest fear is to appear predatory. Mm -hmm. That's right. like one of my greatest fears is to like, which is why I go way aloof on everything in That's terms so of like dating. Like I'm just like super aloof. So I appear to be like, I'd never want to be perceived or 
right. interpreted as predatory. No, in, then just don't be. But in in like theory, this <laughs> yeah. is a great being a, being worried about being perceived as predatory is it is bad. predatory. Yeah. yeah, and as I said that, I knew that was going to be the case, which is problematic but in theory what mook is saying is i think actually great that like seems it, like if, the best case scenario it, 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 it can form like a really cool bond it makes the date fun instead of awkward i think it's just high, super high risk super high reward the only risk is if she says yes or no yeah or it's just mad awkward no the only the biggest risk yeah. is not responding and it's done just like this guy is weird saying all good period all good <laughs> Yeah, I mean Mook. I mean, if it's working for Mook, and then that's great. Like, I think it's great. It works. Yeah. But I just, I never, that never would have ever crossed my mind, to be honest. So you don't want to go to the restaurant and both be like sober and like, yeah, to start from scratch. Yeah. And then imagine the waiter takes twenty minutes to get your drinks, and then you're in twenty minutes of just absolute hell. Yeah, so it's better just to go there. But I think it's like unwritten that people drink beforehand anyway. Do you think that girl did a back to back mo to Mook? <laughs> like day day one day two. She got a, a wider spectrum than that's Emrata. A, yeah. That's yeah. A spectrum. Did you think? She, did she mook? Was there a man? Was there between? a time frame where it could be one day to the next? I don't. Mook, you got to stop worrying about her. Yeah, I'm a little. We're on to Chicago. We are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. What to so stop worrying about we're, what, we're her, what she would Queens. possibly think? I, uh, I brought that up on the yak and I got a DM if you guys want to hear it. You got a DM from a Chicago queen? Yeah. She's followed said, by Luel Dang, well, Zach White Levine, Sox, <laughs> White Sox Dave, <laughs> White Sox Dave. <laughs> well, she's not a Chicago queen yet, but she said, not me, but I feel like you're going to have a hot wife. I hope that makes you feel better. Wow. Oh. Oh, well, no, that like, makes you feel way worse. That's like a Her weird. First thing is not who is me. this? Yeah, who? That was a weird. Is she thing in Chicago? You, not you deserve a hot wife, but not me. Not that is me. a bizarre thing to say to a stranger. It's a Twitter egg with two followers. <laughs> no, no, she's she's a she's a real one. <laughs> oh, Mook, man, not me. That's funny. Kyle, do the last ad. What episode number is this? Three fifty six. <coughs> You got anything on that? Nah, I feel, we'll get back to that. It's not an area code. Nah. Um, game time. Oh, yeah. Game time. Love it. Uh, I can't stress this enough. You got to go to events. You got to see the musicians you love. You got to see the sporting events that you, even if you don't even love the team, you got to, you got to watch things live. That's the essence of life, especially as you age. Like that's what's going to matter if you have loved ones take them so created by fans for fans you know game time is the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score the last minute deals on tickets sports concerts shows you name it if it has a ticket for sale game time will probably offer it to you yeah. for a better deal than the competitors and they guarantee the lowest price um my parents are seeing the Eagles through game time. Nick has seen countless events. Yeah, thanks. Um, SZA will be in town, even if like you're not in a real city. Like SZA's coming to your area. <laughs> Yankees soccer will like what area? Soccer will be local. I guarantee you, soccer will be local. You'll get. To <laughs> you think SZA is going to be playing like SZA will be near East you. Lansing? SZA will be near. Il she'll be in Detroit, and you can drive from East Lansing. <laughs> SZA will be probably in Halifax and you can drive from Greenland. <laughs> it's possible with the game time app. Uh, the biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. Um, <laughs> if you want to buy these tickets, it takes 10 seconds tops, two taps of the finger. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone, to your phone. Uh, <laughs> nailed it. No printer needed. Uh, no Epson, no anything needed. No, no piece, gigantic, clunky piece of technology in the office needed. Uh, the app also allows you to easily share the tickets. Um, and you know how that goes. So skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. <laughs> Download the game time app. <laughs> or go to the website, which is like almost more fun than the apps. Um, enter your they're both so fun like the app is easy and sleek but like when you go to the website it's probably like more exciting um enter your email redeem code untold 
for twenty dollars off wow. your first purchase. Wow! Listen to me. Um, people ask me like, if you're going to an event, if you're going to a ticketed event, just use Game Time. It'll help us tremendously, and it won't hurt you by any means. So, Game Time. We'll use it to go to a Cubs game. Yeah, and I'm I already got tickets. So we go to a Sox game. Sox Cubs. Rudy, what are you a fan of? I I I'll just go to I just go to baseball games. Like I'm not gonna like right. Nah. Like I'm I'm, I'm like going to be the Sox guy at the office. Okay. We don't have we one yet. Yeah, we, yeah, open market. White Sox, Nick. What's the Ooh, vibe at a Sox game versus a Cubs game? Um, Sox fans take it a little more seriously. Probably a little more Fuck prone yes. to getting beaten up. Oh, I, I view it as like Disneyland versus the thorny area in Lion King. That's pretty accurate because Wrigley has. You guys are you know, familiar with both of those. Places? <laughs> Wait a minute, yeah, yeah the, the thorny, thorny area. area. Yeah, we're, we're Scar Chills. Um, the Elephant Graveyard. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or you chose a real thing, but it's confusing because that real thing's property is. I, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. And I'm yeah. Accidentally, like, really high IQ. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rudy, before we were really interrupted. Um, Wrigley has Clark Street, which has a dozen bars, one of which we went to yesterday, one of which was closed. And White Sox Stadium only has about two. So, yeah. So, Disney those two bars are popping. Yeah. They are. I picture, like, White Sox Stadium having, like, an auto zone in it. <laughs> that's city field dude uh, the outside of city fields all like muffler shops yeah, yeah which is kind of sick yeah it's not too far from mccormick place so i guess you're What's right mccormick place is that where the auto zone is it's where the auto show is a big convention center in chicago dude i actually would like to go to an auto show that's no cool. dude that's really boring what? That boring. you could go you could, that's the equivalent of scrolling through google images yep. yeah but you i don't like get to guys, drive the car yeah. i like the guys with like belts that are gonna like on the precipice of exploding oh yeah those are those guys always do have yeah <laughs> yeah that's accurate a mean buckle too to go with it yeah that's pretty accurate oh man kyle you got anything else going on um no we're probably about to go out or something where do you get f- like really fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're close to Clark Street. We can go there again. Or you know, there's 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 um L and L. You want to do what? Like there, the uh, this neighborhood? There's an L. It's called L and L Tavern. It's where John Wayne Gacy used to grab beers. That doesn't right by like, the sound particularly appeasing. <laughs> You're gonna like it. <laughs> where can Kyle? Where can Kyle get the most fucked up? Honestly, yeah, um, I like to do like green tea shots, like shots that are like half delicious. Okay, half we'll just go. To, we'll just go to Boys Town then. Yeah, the, where we just were. Mm-hmm. No, I'm willing to take an Uber. No, you said that. What fits Kyle the best? Green T-shirts. Let's go to uh, Mook's Polo. Stomping Grounds. Oh, yeah, Old Town. Yeah. yeah, let's go to Old Town. Let's find some queens. Let's go to Well Street. What do you think of our Wolf Well Street? I uh, loved it. I love what I see out of the West Loop where I'm moving. Uh, your apartment was obviously splendid. It was almost too miraculous. Yeah, to the eyes. The to the viewer, point where yeah. you should feel guilt. Yeah, I, do actually I felt feel guilt for yeah. you. Yeah, I did feel um, guilt. Can we back up about the garbage shoot? Of all the things in Chicago, you guys are most shocked and, and amazed by the fact that he had a garbage no, shoot? We just no, we that, have garbage shoots no, too. Yeah, we just we know thought it was like right in front of his door. He's going to make girls throw their panties yeah. down there before <laughs> the he gets into the How would he be? Before you come to my place, you know the one rule. <laughs> do the hands. Pan- listen, pa- so the panties. <laughs> off your person. <laughs> Take the panties off. I'm talking off. to him like I'm a cop. Take your panties off the person. <laughs> he would do this. He's not trying to be predatory. And listen, I don't want to be predatory. I don't need to touch him. I just need to see them leave your pussy <laughs> and put him down the chute. And then she just puts her pants back put on. Put him down the chute. Yeah, guilt. Yeah. <laughs> she put her pants back on. Then she put them back on. Yo, I I actually, I'm going to need you to recycle. Uh, <laughs> no, listen. Slide up, slide off your fucking panties off your pussy. Guilty. Garbage sheet's right there. Slide right your there. You won't be needing. <laughs> you're not gonna need these. trust me and it's not that i'm gonna try to fuck i just want you to be comfortable <laughs> i just want you to be as comfortable as possible <laughs> you know the script dude <laughs> yeah yeah I, no, I, trust me take your i'm in my off. i'm in my place all the time you're going to be way more comfortable without anything over your pussy i have makeup i have makeup wipes <laughs> listen <laughs> If I want you to be comfortable in my place. That's the guy I am. Just yeah. gaslight them and say, what, you guys, right there. You, you don't do this Slide in New York? Off. Crumple them. <laughs> you had a lot of drink. Fucking crumple them because I don't want to get... You had a lot of drink. I purified water. <laughs> you have a Brita. Yeah, wait, put, put, him put him down the ship. Put him down the fucking ship. <laughs> Take your pants down. Just put him down the ship. Close the door. I won't even watch. Close I the do door. need another off. <laughs> I'll turn around. Don't you feel... Don't you feel... <laughs> okay. Don't you feel better? <laughs> Now zipper yeah. your jeans. I'm gonna have to do this move. Yeah, it's kind of hot. 
Yeah, yeah that actually that kind was, of kind of sexy. That was good. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like the advanced Pokemon right here, of but, Mook's move. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw him down. The Come shoot. to my place. Just throw him down the chute. I, promise I have uh, Fireball. You won't be needing me. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise you. Look at me. Look at me. You won't be needing me. <laughs> his, his hands are like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, my hands are tended. Yeah, throw him down the trash. Yeah. Throw him down the trash. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> You're I'm not gonna tell you. He's so much more comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah. How? My jeans are rubbing against my yeah, pussy. Yeah. I'm, wearing a, I'm wearing a romper. I mean, that's they're, they're pretty much like you're not wearing anything anyway. But I want to keep the pants. I want to keep. Just them. take them off. Can I at least keep them? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure. You're in for a treat, brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were shitting crazy after dinner. Uh, yeah. My body hasn't adjusted. Yeah. To, to use the Chicago the hotel. I had Blender, this. Leak. Yeah. I had you, this. Wait, you what? <laughs> You clogged your hotel no. toilet, and this is like all oh, maybe grosser. I like stained it to a point where I needed to like <laughs> really rubber. scrub off the shit stained oh porcelain. Yeah. I piss them off sometimes. Wait, one shit would give you that tremendous of a stain? My like, yeah, like when I ever when I break protocol, <laughs> it's it's the stickiest shit. It's so gross, and I have to like scrub it off. I have to use like the other side of the plunger. Like your shit's handle. like hydrophobic. It's like it's yeah. <laughs> Um, like yeah, laminates it, it. Yeah, had to have yeah. been the meatballs. Wait, how did you get a, so our rooms? Don't meat. have plungers we in got them. So yeah, much they do. Meat. Where at Citizen M? Yeah, to the right of the toilet. It's a small pl- plunger. How Can't small? It. It's like a probably like a half the size of an average one, but it's not that small. <laughs> if you can picture that, yeah, you know, half the size small. of an average one. <laughs> so yeah, I just made yeah. me think of a small plunger, it's like a small the size plunger. of a large yeah. plunger. Yeah, small plunger. And you're sharing your room with these are tiny little rooms, but you're sharing your room with your girlfriend. Yes. What, what was she there while you were doing? This? She's used to this. She's lived with me for <laughs> upwards of a year now, and she's used to the the farts, and I love it. Like we both love it. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> no. She loves it. No, but I love the fact that she's not like visibly outwardly phased by it. You guys are just laying in bed playing with your chubby cubbies, farting each other's faces. I know. I'll like roll over and slide onto the. <laughs> The bean bag and fart onto that. <laughs> wait, 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 you'll roll here. over and slide on. You have the bean bag right next to the bed. Yeah, so I can, there's no like I can just roll right onto the bean bag and I'll fart onto that. So you have a and fart, then you roll you back have, onto bed. Yeah, you have a fart. You have a fart <laughs> Dude, zone. I'm, I'm like I'm eating at a protein clip that is like impossible to. They do go to crazy. Stop the farts. Yeah, they go crazy. Yeah. I'm jealous of that actually. I've how never late? That. How far into the relationship were you where you were just really blown? So I do it. That's like one thing that's not awkward about me is I do it off the rip to mm. like gauge so like like, interest. Interest. Like, like first date you'll to fart gauge Kyle interest so like, she comes into the I'm apartment to, 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 to gauge the KI you I'm fart immediately fart uh, off the rip yes you say come over to my place How? before we go on a date off the rip you're fart. like before you speak no but, but like like first time in the same apartment I'm gonna the, get the farts out and the shits. I'm picturing like you going through Mook, Mook's play playbook. You walk into the apartment. You're standing there, arms at your side, not touching any furniture, and you just rip ass before any words are said. You, you, like, you take your one, panties off. The first one should be like comedic. <laughs> no, no, you you take your panties. I'm just like, what you want? Me, do you have a shoot? <laughs> what do you want me to do with these? <laughs> take your <laughs> panties off. That's just what slap. I'm saying. The first one has to be like a punchline almost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's, there is like a chance to laugh at something other than the fact that it's just a fart. Okay. Then you can gauge interest and go from there. Did you guys go to the hotel pool last night? No. Didn't know we had one. Yeah. You do. Don't think Wait a minute. I heard a story about you. Uh, it was Liam that said you went to a hotel. You did, Danny. Mm-hmm. And what did you ask the hotel employee? Some, uh, we were a little drunk. Can I ask their jean policy? If we could wear jeans in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> I prefer you didn't, but... <laughs> she can't like at she putt putt, stop you. I putt putted with Kyo at swingers and this guy was like any questions and you were like can we have as much fun as we want <laughs> <laughs> he was like I guess it was crazy golf it was crazy golf and so you wanted to know mm. so did, did you only have jeans uh, that weekend yeah and, and uh, Muggsy shorts there's no employee swim at that hotel either you asked about employee swim <laughs> you would think that's a thing that Adult would be like a you would, you would assume yes yeah. yeah. all the employees get their own time in the pool but no <laughs> they blow the whistle and oh, everybody's some storming in from the hotel the bell <laughs> hopped as a jackknife <laughs> no one at the reception <laughs> <laughs> you all ever see a bell hop to a jackknife <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I guess that's it. Yeah. And he's done. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Let's wrap it. Uh, God bless. God bless.